নমস্কার আপনি চাবলে আরম্ভ করেছে আফটারনুন এক্সপ্রেস ষ্টুডিওত মই কৃপা জল রাজবংশী বহু কেটা চর্চিত খবরের মাজত হেহতিয়াক এটা খবর জানাবলে লছো আজিৰ পৰা কাজিৰঙা তিনি দিনা কৈ জিহাটো অনুষ্ঠিত হৈ আছে ৰাজ্য চৰকাৰৰ চিন্তন শিবিৰ চিন্তন বৈঠকৰ বাবে ইতিমধ্যে মিনি ডিসপ্লটেলিজেন পৰিণত হৈছে কাজিৰঙাখন মুখ্যমন্ত্ৰী হিমন্ত বিশ্ব শর্মাৰ লগত বিজেপি মিত্ৰজোঁটৰ প্ৰায় সংখ্যক মন্ত্ৰী আমুলা সকলো উপস্থিত হৈছে কাজিৰঙাত চিন্তন শিবিৰত অংশ গ্ৰহণ কৰিব হজগুৰু আৰু গুৰু ৰবি শংকৰে আৰু এই মুহূৰ্তত আমি পুনপতিয়া সম্প্ৰচাৰ লৈ যাব বিচাৰিম আপোনালোকক কাজিৰঙালৈ the world's largest people's movement conscious planet save soil which has touched the lives of over 3.91 billion people we are about to present a short video on his life and times who has a devoted following across India and indeed around the world. While yoga and meditation are at the core of his teachings to promote individual growth, the work of the foundation covers conservation, education and health. And you'll find him astonishingly pragmatic on a range of very modern day problems. Let's meet Sadhguru. We have the necessary resource, we have the necessary capability, we have the necessary technology to address every human problem on the planet. But the only thing that is missing is consciousness. We started a mass campaign and uh, six years I spent planting trees in people's heads. That's the most difficult terrain, believe me. And now in the last six years we've been transplanting it and that's happening much more easily. Action for Rural Rejuvenation is mainly aimed at rejuvenating This is an incredible movement that has started in Tamil Nadu. We want to see that this happens to the whole country and revitalizing rural societies. English and computer skills are very essential to make these children come out of the hopeless economic and social pit they are in. Whatever the nature of your business, ultimately it is all about human well-being. Isha Foundation, a non-religious, non-profit public service organization headquartered in southern India. We've engineered the outside world in so many ways, but we've done nothing about this one. If you want to know well-being, in is the only way out. An incredible rally starting from Kanyakumari reaching up to the Himalayas with the sole purpose of rejuvenating India's rivers. We are also launching another campaign called Kaveri Calling. This is 83,000 square kilometers of Kaveri Basin. We want to bring it back, at least one third of it, back into some kind of green cover. All of us come from the same soil. All of us eat of the same soil. All of us die and go back to the same soil. So soil is a unifying force. Soil is not our property. It's a legacy that's come to us from previous generations and we must pass it on as living soil for future generations. We are launching a campaign called Youth and Truth in the month of September. Youth and Truth, unplug with Sadhguru, ask whatever you want. This precious life, where are you going to invest it? What is it that will be worthwhile today and worthwhile after fifty years? You invest your life into that. If you have to describe yourself in one word, would you consider uh, wildlife as two words or one word? It's... In the next half... Well, what a remarkable personality we have in our midst today, our most respected Sadhguruji. It is indeed a rare privilege. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I now would like to introduce a topic which is extremely important and contemporary, Conscious Planet. 
Save Soil is a global movement launched by Sadhguruji to address the soil crisis by bringing together people from around the world to stand up for soil health and supporting leaders of all nations to institute national policies and actions towards increasing the organic content in cultivatable soil. Sadhguru wrote 30,000 kilometers from London to Kaveri in 100 days, having 691 events in 27 countries. The movement has reached 3.91 billion people across the world, making it the world's largest people's movement. We will now watch a short video which highlights the science behind why our soil is on the verge of extinction and the urgent need for us to come together to save soil. We are talking about climate change, carbon emissions and global warming and various other aspects. But we are not addressing soil. Soil is the habitat upon which zillions of lives thrive. Once there is no richness in soil, then you have forsaken the planet in many ways. Every responsible scientist in the world and the UN agencies are clearly saying we have only 80 to 100 harvests left. That means approximately 45 to 50 years of agricultural soil left on the planet. By 2045, we will be producing 40 percent less food than what we are producing right now and our populations will be 9.3 billion people. The food shortages that could manifest in the next twenty-five years. The consequences of that is unimaginable. Civil wars will unfold across the world once there is food shortage. What we are facing now is soil extinction. Why is soil becoming extinct? Where is it going away? What is happening to our soil? We must understand if you add organic content, to sand, sand will turn into soil. If you remove all organic content from the soil, soil will become sand. In normal agricultural soil, the minimum organic content should be between three to six percent. The most minimum is three percent. At least this minimum to keep the soil alive, to keep the soil as living soil is a must. Agricultural soils across the world, the depletion is so heavy, in most countries, more than fifty percent of the topsoil is already gone in the last hundred years. The nutrient levels have dropped significantly. The level of micronutrients you would get from your food in early twentieth century to what you are getting from the same food now has dropped ninety percent. If you ate one orange in nineteen twenties, what you got from it, now in twenty twenty, if you have to get the same, you will have to eat eight oranges. This is what we have done to our food. Soil is the biggest ecosystem on the planet and so few people know anything about it. One teaspoon of healthy soil probably contains more microbes than there are people on earth. The microbial life in the first twelve to fifteen inches of topsoil is the basis of our existence. It is this magic beneath our feet which has produced the life that we are. This first twelve to fifteen inches of soil is the basis of life for eighty-seven percent of life on this planet, including you and me. We have to begin to recognize that what we call our soil, Mother Earth, is a living organism. Open soils ripped open by plowing, open to sunlight, is the basis of destruction of microbial life. So the focus should be on agriculture, the focus should be on seeing that land is under shade as much as possible. Some kind of shade, grasses, herbs, bushes, trees, so it's extremely important that soil regeneration is enshrined in the policy of every government on the planet. We must change the narrative on the planet that soil is a wealth, a legacy we have received from previous generations and we have to pass it on as living soil 
for future generations. We are in a cusp of time, if you do the right things now, in the next fifteen to twenty-five years, we can significantly turn this situation around and regenerate the soil. But if we allow this to progress like this for another thirty to forty years, after forty years if we attempt this, then it could take hundred and fifty to two hundred years because that much loss of biodiversity would have happened. From twenty-first of March for one hundred days, the whole world, every human being on the planet should talk soil. We must hear the word soil, save soil everywhere to see that the narrative on the planet changes towards the most vital aspect of our life, the soil. Each one of you should reach as many people as you can to make this happen as a part of this, to activate support from the citizenry, to assure the governments long-term investments will be appreciated. <laughs> I'm sixty-five and I'm riding thirty thousand kilometers, a lone motorcycle journey, thirty thousand kilometers across twenty-four nations. Sadhguru, thank you for what you're doing. Dear Sadhguru, one of the world's voices and leaders on soil conservation. As for the Muslim World League, we are completely ready to help you. Uh, you've inspired me to think about soil very differently. I love what you say that we're all part of the solution and we all have a role to play. This is my appeal to every one of you because I don't want this COP15 to end as one more convention with more paper and more paper. This must end with concrete action, an action in such a way that is it's implementable. It is implementable and we will see a distinct change in the coming few years. This is a perfect confluence of, 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 uh, of how we see things and the importance of, 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 of the soil. Save the soil. Our soil needs nourishment. Save soil. Let us make it happen. Sadhguru Ji ne yatra ki dunia ko mitti ke pati sneh to paida hua hi hoga, lekin Bharat ki mitti ki taakat ka bhi parichay mila ho. I salute you your energy and your dedication and my full support of what is needed from the Palestinian side. To honor the people of this country, oh, thank you. <laughs> I want to thank you very much. And the movement that you are taken up I could not expect any more God's blessing than that. Sadhguru, and this campaign is so important. We are going to save the soil. Do your part. Let's save soil and create a conscious planet. Save soil. Save our soil. Save soil. Sadhguru, <laughs> save soil, my friend. Save soil. Let's make it happen. Antiguan Barbuda is part of the Save Soil mission. We commend you for what you're doing. That is why we are happy to sign the MOU. The science and philosophy that backs the thought behind the movement is tremendous. We we'll welcome you in Hyderabad and please show us the right direction towards policy. Save soil. Let's make it happen. It is time to save the soil. Save soil. Save soil. Save soil. Let's make it happen. We know what we must do, so let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. Let's make this happen. Let us make it happen. Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. Save soil. Let's make it happen. Just four months ago, soil was not even in the conversation. For the first time, soil has come to the conversation. 193 nations have taken soil as a very serious thing right now.
I beseech every one of you that you must keep the soil in conversation for the next few months till the policies are made in the world. Soil is not...